Hello guys, so welcome to Ramta Solutions. Welcome to your grade 12 financial math lesson five on future value annuity. Today we are looking on case study four that says payments are made at the end of a turn, but last payment or payment missed. Okay. So as usual, our case study involves Nesidi. Nesidi invests 1,000 rand at the end of each year, but for five years, but she missed her last payment. Oh, don't know what's happening, but she missed her last payment. Okay, but she missed her last payment. Let's also fix this. Okay, so she invested, um, she invests 1,000 at the end of each year for five years, but she missed her last payment. How much will she have after five years if the bank offers her interest of 10% per annum? And we move this slightly. Perfect. So what she will have is this. Her timeline is like this. So she has T0, let's see, T0, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. Yes, that's enough space. So, let's see. She invests 1,000 rand at the end of each year. So this is the start of the first year. This is the end of the first year. The end of the second year. The end of the third year. The end of the fourth year. But she does not invest at the end of the fifth year. At she does not invest at the end of her fifth year. Or rather, she does not deposit at the end of the fifth year. Okay. So, when we want to know how much we'll have, remember we say accumulated amount is equal to, we say that accumulated amount is equal to principal amount into 1 plus i to the end. Right? So, we will consider all these payments. So because you can see that she's depositing a thousand rand at the end of each year, we will consider this situation an annuity. Remember an annuity is equal payment made at regular intervals. Okay. Equal payment made at regular intervals. Perfect. So what she has is the first thousand interest is one at uh, 10%, 0.1. It's in the account for, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, to the power 4. The second is in the account for, I believe it'll be to the power 3. And let's confirm. Here is it. So it will be 1, 2, 3. Perfect. Now the fourth a deposit, it'll be for 2 years. Now, the fourth will be simply for a year. All right, it'll be simply for a year. Now, take your calculator and find the total. Okay. Let's do it. And let's see, 1,000 into 1 1.1 plus 1 1.1 squared plus 1 1.1 cubed plus 1 1.1 to their 4. Okay. Let's see. So what do we have? We have, if you're with me, you have... 5,105 rent and 10 cents. All right. 5,105 5, rent and 10 cents. This is when she misses. This is when she misses the last payment. Okay. This is when she misses the last payment. Okay. 
So she only missed one payment. Okay. Now, let's look at a general case. Now, let's consider a general case. Or should I go back there? I think you guys are okay with this. Okay. Now, let's look at a general case. Now, the city is investing X at the end of each year for NES, but she missed her last payment. How much will she have after NES if the bank offers her interest of 5% per annum? The timeline is T0, T1. I'm going to limit it to 5, um, but I remember I'm working with N now, so it's going to be greater than that. So she doesn't deposit at the end, uh, at the beginning of the account, right? When she opens the account, she's not depositing. They say she's depositing at the end of each year. So it's here, 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 and here. Right? And here. So what is this? This is interest is I. So what we see, we see that the accumulated amount would be, let's see, this first installment will be X open bracket 1 plus I to the 1, 2, 3, 4, to the 4, plus X into 1 plus I to the 3, it's this one here, plus X into 1 plus I, we on this one here, it'll be to the 2, plus X into 1 plus I, it's the fourth one, this one here, it's to the power one, right? It's to the power one. So rearranging in ascending order, let's try that. Rearranging in ascending order. Okay, rearranging in ascending order, we have A equals X into one plus I, to the power one, let me not write to the power one, I'm going to leave it like this, plus x into one plus i to the two, plus x into one plus i to the three, plus x into one plus i all to the four, and so on, all right, and so on. So what you see here, I see, or oh, by now you know, it's a, uh, it's a it's a geometric series, right? It's a geometric series. So since it's a geometric series, we know our A is X into one plus I. What is our R? Our R is X into one plus I. One plus I close to the two over X into one plus I. Obviously, this gives you one plus I. Right. As you can see, this means our R is greater than 1. And our N, for now, it's, we simply going to call it N. Okay, we simply going to leave it as N. But there are some manipulations that you can come across. I don't want to confuse you. I'm going to leave them as N. Okay, so let's also call SN N. So what we know we know Sn equals A into R to the N minus 1 all over R minus 1. So we said, let's call Sn F. What is A? It was A into 1 plus I into 1 plus I to the N minus 1 all over 1 plus I minus 1. Right? Further... This can be simplified to A into, oh, sorry, not A, it's X. This is X, not A, X. So X into 1 plus I to the N minus 1 all over I multiplied by 1 plus I. A special note, this N, when you are using your timeline, it will be last minus initial plus one. What I mean is, the last, what is the last time that you're making a payment? What is the first time that you're making a payment? Plus one. That will be your N. Okay. 
that will be your end. So this is the formula that you are using when you are missing the last payment. Okay. This is the formula that you are using when you missing the last payment. Continuing with it, we will say, let's verify that formula. Let's verify if this thing is working. So we want to make sure that we get the same answer that we got earlier, right? We want to make sure that we get this one. Let's see. So we say, what is the formula is F equals X into one plus I to the end minus one all over I into one plus I, right? If you recall, Mercedes was depositing 1,000 rand at the end of each year, right? So her X was 1,000 rand and then her interest, uh, I don't have to go back, her interest was 10%, which is similar to 0 0.1, right? And then, N, what is N? N, let's look at her timeline. Her timeline was 4, right? The final was 4, initial was 1. Check this out. 4. Minus initial was 1, plus 1. What is this? 4. So remember what I had said to you. I said this N is number of installments. It is not number of years. So do not make that confusion. Years, sometimes it will mean that. But be careful. Cases are not the same. Let's see now. So this is X equals, oh, and I'm saying X. We have the values 1000 into 1 plus 0 0.1 to the power 4 minus 1 close all over 0 0.1 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.1. Let's see. Let's see what we are getting. 1000 into uh, So use your calculator and tell us what you're getting, guys. Well, okay, when you're done, you, the answer that you are getting is 5,105 rent and 10 cents. Let's confirm it. 5,105 rent and 10 cents. Let's confirm it. Here is it. 5,105 rent and 10 cents. Remember, uh, when for for a simple case like five years, it's easier to calculate. But what if you had longer or many years, like 20, 10, 20, or even 40? You're not going to have space to be writing all this. And I believe you will get tired along the way, right? So this is the reason why you're doing mathematics. You derive formulas so you can simplify your workings, right? So you can simplify your workings. Okay. So now you know how to use this formula and you have seen how you derive this formula. Okay. Now let's look at this. What if you miss the last two payments? The last two payments. All right. What if you lose the last two payments? So what is happening is this. Let's say T, what? T, not T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. This is the situation on the timeline. So it's this and this. Can you see that? So what is going to happen? That formula, remember, that formula was x into into 1 plus close plus i close to the end minus 1 all over i multiplied by into 1 plus i right so if you 
remember when you lost one payment it was this is basically to the power but when you lose the last two it'll be to the power two okay it'll be to the power two okay if you lose two the last two payments it'll be to the power two remember here i'm talking future value annuity when you lose when you miss the last um when you miss the last two payments this will be one plus i to the two remember this end will be again i need to make sure guys that i always remind you when you come to future value annuities draw timelines okay draw timelines and say last to find the correct value of n say last minus initial plus what you will never go wrong okay you will never go wrong so when you miss one last uh, only one last payment it was to the power one when you miss last two payments it's to the power three when you lose when you lose rather or when you miss last three payments it'll be to the power three but this end even if you don't touch it as long as you can draw a proper timeline you are good to go okay you are good to go so this is what we need for future value annuities the next time i see you it'll be on present value annuities however for future value annuities you are going to see them in a typical examination question all right so stay tuned guys and bye bye